the number one uh, cut go salesperson in the U.S. is here, and there's a reason for it, and we're excited to have her with us today. I loved what you just said a second ago, Don, about 80% of your business comes from 20% of your clients, basically. Um, I really make it, I try to be in front of as many clients and potential clients as possible, physically. And yes, I do emails, yes, I do text messages, yes, I do Facebook and Instagram, all these great things. But I think one of the things that we've been focusing on, and we did it last year as well, is our top basically 10%. Like who are the people, or 20%, who are the people that are bringing the most business in? Because, you know, I'm just like, you know, you guys and your LOs are out in the field, like hustle, 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 new business, because that is important. It'll feed your pipeline for the long term. Those people always turn into repeat clients for the most part. But according to Forbes magazine, it costs five times more money and five times more time to obtain a new client than it does to work with an existing client or referral. I'd say it's really just comes down to being in front of people. Even if you're so busy and you just physically can't see everyone, which I totally understand, send them something of value. Not some newsletter or another email or postcard. Recipe. Like, yeah, like do other touches like that. I do those too. I was to say, I think I think you have to do it all. I you think do. it's all and. It's not or. Well, right. I like that. What you're sprinkle you're, it in. You're, sprinkle in like the valuable things for the top people. And the thing is, a lot of people give something. They'll give you know gift cards, wine, baskets. These things are great. However, because the IRS only allows twenty five dollars to be written off, consult your tax guy. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it a challenge, especially when you're making a great amount on selling a house or anything else. So because we engrave it, you legally can shift that cost over to advertising and promotion. So you don't have to get creative with like, oh, how can I write this off or get out of paying whatever. It's all a system in place. It's all fully tax deductible as marketing and advertising. And literally, this has Don and Gino's info on it. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> they can see and look at it every single day. The point is everything we do is un not consumed because if you really ever want to care about doing business with this person again, I don't care who you are. You need to be top of mind long term with your clients because as you said, they're getting distracted by so many things. They don't just wake up one day and think of Don and Gino. Like, that would be really cool. but. I, you know, <laughs> but maybe they do when they're, you know, making breakfast for their kids now. 